Hey, it's Antti. Today I'm going to show you how you can create these kind of isometric 3D shapes using Photoshop and your own textures or even stock photography. So let's check it out. So a couple of years ago I made a picture called Endless. So this is a picture I won the uh, Photography World Cup illustrative category in Japan um, last year. So with that picture I used this technique where I created basically this endless shape out of just using Photoshop and my own textures. So now I'm gonna show you how you can create these kind of isometric shapes uh, in Photoshop and how to texturize them to achieve similar kind of stuff and you can create more stuff. So let's go into Photoshop and I will show you the technique. Maybe you'll learn something new. So here we are in Photoshop and I have a, just a blank template here. So first when I started to create those isometric shapes or whatever kind of three-dimensional shapes um, I use uh, always, um, I make a grid to myself so you can go to Photoshop show and grid and it will give you this grid and then I'll go to snap and snap to grid so whenever I draw the lines uh, according to my shape that I want to create uh, then I will get snapped to the right places then I will start doing the shape so I will do like a basic shape you can do whatever kind of shape so my technique starts that I create a blank layer here and I just select a line tool. Uh, it doesn't matter what we, with the line is, so uh, as long as you see what kind of line you are drawing. So I just choose a line. I have a five pixel uh, line. So I will start doing of my shape. So I'll do like a basic shape. Uh, so I will take the corner point here and just drag. Maybe that's the edge of that my shape. I'll come down maybe four bigger squares to that corner and from here again I will draw four squares and then I connect those lines. I have that edge now in, in place then I start from that corner so maybe I'll do oops so I'll just choose that corner I'll do maybe four and up to over there and the same in the every single corner for this way and two up and these two four and two up. Now these can be connected and in a way my first basic shape is done. So what I do after this is I choose polygon lasso tool and I'm I have to define these areas, so I can separate them as a color so I can kind of apply those textures in them. Polygon lasso tool and I just click, 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 click and close. Now I have that shape. So I make a blank layer and then I color that, let's say, gray. Option backspace. Now I have that edge. So now I have to choose the other one. Command D, unselect that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner, and that corner. A new layer, I can choose a, maybe do a lighter color just so I can see the shape better. Option backspace to fill it. Command T to unselect and one more shape that is, I need the edge. Click, click, click. And because I have the snapping on, I can choose these and then the blank layer and let's make it slightly darker. So we'll see. see. So there we have the basic shape. We don't need the edge lines anymore and we don't need the grid tool anymore. Show grid away. So there we have our shape. So it's contained from that shape, that shape and that shape. Place it there. So now I have in a way isometric 3D shape that I need to texture it out. So now when we start texturizing uh, the element, let's choose a texture. Uh, I have a one already selected, so I'll just drag to the scene. You can choose whatever brick texture, walls, gravel, whatever, but this is just a technique that I will show you how you can 
texturize these different kind of a three-dimensional shapes. First, I will just try to choose what kind of a uh, what size is my texture? So uh, maybe I will choose that this edge is the whole side of that thing. So I'll just uh, apply that there. So first, maybe I will start applying texture on this uh, this edge. So I need to make because I I need to make three copies out of this. Uh, I have three shot sides, so I just already make three copies out of that texture and just choose the top one. So how to align these with this image? Um, how I do it is that I line the edge with that and then Command T gives us a scale tool and when you second click that you'll select here to skew and then you just drag down that edge actually we could drop that to the corner so we'll see better and you just follow the line so it just nicely follows that edge this edge and this edge now has to match so there's our first and you just press press ok and what i need to do is to put this on top of that layer and then use the clipping mask to only be visible only where this this texture is or that this shade is. So now when the texture is on top of that I just option click between and now I have that edge shape texturized or otherwise you can go to if you select a texture layer and go here and create a clipping mask. So there's our first side texturized. So now we select another we have the copy and place it on top of the other so now we are texturizing this other to top layer so what i need to do again i need to align this edge or this edge with this my my image so maybe i'll just first rotate it and maybe i'll rotate it to match that side i'm just matching to match this side So from corner to corner, and that's, that looks okay. We can choose, select that, and then Command T again, and then skew, and you just have to match all, also the other side. And that's how you press OK, and then option click between these layers, and you have that. So now I'm kind of losing slightly off that so I can either of course I can resize this or then make a copy out of it but so so easier just to resize this to match that edge and then we have the last one select that one put it into place maybe to the corner here or even here command T skew because already that edge is OK, and so I'll just skew and press OK and option click between. And now I have texturized all those three different layers. So now what I can do, for example, to make it more believable, I can add shadows or I can actually transform or move these. For example, if I want to align these layers, let's say, where's the last one I did here? So you can only move this to get find a good place for your texture that might look because these aligns nicely or also for the top layer which is here you can just move it around just to try to see where it's kind of a looks the best so that would be a good place to place it i'm just going to scale it slightly more Um, what else we can do to make it more believable? We can add the three-dimensional shadows uh, if we think the light is coming from behind. Um, we can choose, for example, our this edge. So you could just select the texture layer and put maybe a levels and also alt click to snap that only to affect these lower layers and we can 
make it darker like that. And maybe we will do also the same to this edge. So I will just go here in the top. Here is that part. Levels. Snap to affect only that area. And then let's make it darker. Like that. So now you can see the 3D shape is starting to form. What we can do also uh, to make it more believable is that when you look at these edges, uh, it looks like too uniform, it looks like too sharp. So we can do uh, various things. We can, um, if I only want to modify the shape, I can make a group out of all these layers. So I'm going to select the bottom layer and the top layer. Command G makes the group out of them. And I make a mask on to the effect to everything that I have here. And now I can just paint black and try to kind of make... Um, I usually use a hard brush to kind of deform these. So I'm just masking out and making these shapes more in a way interesting, so it's just a random, so that there are no sharp lines in this. So I can zoom in, again brush, and just make, kind of a follow how the bricks here would, would work. Make a randomness to the edges, so that will look more real in a way. Here you can kind of there is a one brick, kind of separating the bricks on these places where there's these gaps and getting it to look more kind of a organic in a way. So this is a way I have I've created these these kind of a shapes basically out of nowhere and just using the Photoshop and some some textures. Uh, this gives the cell better when you create a bit more randomness to it, not just sharp lines. Um, you can add the shadows and whatever. For example, in my endless picture, there's a lot of shadows I have added. Kind of, I'm thinking where the light is hitting the bricks, and so with this technique, you can create all kind of weird shapes with natural looking textures. So I'm just going to kind of form this to the end. So now you already see that it looks kind of a more real. Um, you might have problems also with these parts that this looks too sharp. One technique is to make a blank layer on top of this everything and then use a stamp for example and be sure to select the current and below and you can again select from both sides to make it look like more organic again a hard brush kind of working on the both the directions how the the edge would bleed on the other side almost and make it more organic again So it's not just a straight line, just there's a bit of variations on the edge. Sometimes the other side goes over and sometimes the other, other side goes on the other side, making the edge look more kind of a natural. As you can see here, toggle on a straight line, now it's just randomness in that. And the same here. I can kind of bleed this lower bar part or then the bottom part. Just trying to get that straight line feel out of this so it will look more organic and natural. Well, there's not much natural in this image anyways, but you, you get the point. Trying to do randomness in these edges.
So you can use this technique to create all kind of weird shapes and here's just a one. So here's just a quick example how you can create these three-dimensional shapes, how you can texturize them with your own textures, uh, create whatever you feel like doing. It's kind of a fun to create you know these kind of a real looking elements out of nowhere and you can do any kind of shapes and this is just a technique how to use texturizing stuff so definitely if you like this video put a thumbs up uh, comment have you done this kind of a texturizing and what you thought about the technique always 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 subscribe the channel i i really enjoy the engagement of that we will get in this channel and as always as always, I will be seeing you on my next video. Cheers!